hello 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 welcome to my channel jesus christ is lord amen if this is the first time you are coming to my channel please press the subscribe button and the bell so that you know when i'm loading and you'll be notified thank you for coming to my channel again if you are new in my channel like i said there's a red button there please press the red button and subscribe to my channel jesus christ is lord amen first of all in my last video uh, when we studied together matthew the book of matthew in the bible uh chapter four and five and parts of chap uh, chapter five i think we stop at verse 14. um i promise we'll um come back to um i ask you to finish the chapter five and we're going to start with chapter six but something came up that was very urgent on sunday and i tried to um wait for how the story would uh pan out uh, on Monday, which was yesterday, I tried to um, upload, uh, but I was so busy, hence I'm doing it this early morning. So please, 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 before I start, I want to ask all you Christians out there, whether you are old Christians, whether you are young to the faith, whether you are um, teenagers, whether you are um, professionals, Whatever you are as Christians, or whether you are even non Christians, just um, coming to, into faith or trying to find your feet in the world, or whether you are a uh, Muslim, whether you are atheist, please, please, please be careful which church you go to. Our Christian faith, the God we serve, Almighty God who made heaven and earth has told us in the Bible that he does not live in the house built by human hands. So when he tells us, do not forsake the um, gathering of the brethren in Hebrew 10, what he's saying is, where two or three are gathered together in my name, I'll be there. He is omnipresent. He is present at everywhere. When you go to church, please, have your brain with you. Don't be tricked out of your money. Don't um, go to church believing everything that comes out of the mouth of your pastor or your reverend or your overseer. They are human beings like you and me. God does not want your money. He wants the purification of your heart. He wants you, your, you in his presence. You have the same grace as those people. His, the word of God tells us in John 14, 6. Before Jesus left, he taught us. That was why we were doing Matthew at the beginning of his teachings. He gave us all these things to follow to enter the kingdom of God. To, to, uh, to enter the kingdom of heaven. And he never ever asked that if we pay tithe or if we pay um, seeds or even offering for that matter, that that would take us to the kingdom of God. No, in fact, in Matthew, he says to us that when we feed the poor, when we give them food and we give them drink, the word of God, uh, uh, when he comes back in his glory, he will put those who did that on the right and those who did not on the left. And the ones on the right will be taken with them to heaven. Enter into the kingdom of your father. So why are we still hearing all these cases of false pastors, false pro uh, uh, prophets, false reverends, taking and defrauding people out of their money? And in this case, this is even a, an, uh, 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 a matured woman. So on Sunday, uh, on WhatsApp, a friend sent a, a WhatsApp message to me. And in it, a woman, Miss Joy uh, Omisigo, was pleading with everyone um, to help her get um, her money, which she was defrauded of, uh, 192 
This lady, I'll quickly read the story to you. Um, this lady purported that um, she was attending a, a church for seven years, Christ Life Church on 4 Princess Street, Princess Close, London, Southeast 28, 8SJ. And she fell ill. This lady fell ill. The, um, this false pastor, this um, a charlatan, um, called Mr. Temilokwe Ibukun, Fasakin, Fasakin, Temilokwe Ibukun, Fasakin, who um, was a pastor of that church. For, se for seven years, she attended the church. This pastor and his wife then coerced her to sell her house, saying that God told them, uh, uh, giving her false prophecy that when she sells her house, she goes to Nigeria, that um, she will be well. So they started, she, so she sold her house, and the proceeds from that house, the equity, they coerced her, bit by bit, got all the uh, uh, money from her. Uh, um, and this lady, uh, the, uh, at one point, Gave them sixty. Gave them sixty-seven. I think it was or sixty-five uh, thousand. Gave the couple um, sixty-seven or sixty-five thousand pounds. They said they were going to buy a house for her in Nigeria. It turned out that the house was substandard. They bought for her, and it was for forty something thousand. Right. Are you following me? Because I don't want to be long um, with this story. I've just come here for all of you, please, to be wise. The Bible says be wise as a serpent and be um, harmless as a dove. So when you are in church, please have your critical mind. This is, this is the God has raised us so that uh, these false pastors uh, will have nowhere to hide. And the judgment has started from the house of God. Christ is uh, um, wiping the, these churches, these charities out of churches. And we have our part to play by exposing them, by making sure uh, of these people have nowhere to hide. They face the justice. In this case, this pastor is still in this country, United Kingdom. And um, let, uh, let me just continue so I don't um, move away from the story. The second part of this story is that this Tokwe Fashakim left um, Christ's life church as a pastor, but now acting as an overseer at Light Assembly Church, number 5, Pierre Road, DA8ITA. The church administrator of Christ's church, uh, Carlton, are now circulating another message on WhatsApp saying that they have um, this uh, uh, fraud from uh, Temitokwe uh, Fashakin uh, to Miss Joy Omisigo Omisiho has now come to their attention and they are now assuring that they would investigate the fraud um, carried out on Miss Joy Omisigo by Temitokwe Ibukun Fashakin and they will not hesitate to hand him over for justice. Well, um, um, Administrators of Church Life, uh, of Christ Life Church, administrators of Christ Life Church. It is commendable that um, you have now taken this case up, but it sounds like that. It sounds like you people are trying to distance yourself from Femi Tokwe uh, uh, and the brand uh, name of your church from Femi Tokwe Bukun Fashakin so that you will stop tarnishing your church but i hope not because i hope you do the you do actually get a result for uh, miss joy omi sigo by getting her money back from uh temitokwe fashakin or straight away hand this case hand this case to the british police because they have more resources to investigate this case. They, this, this woman, this whole uh, uh, saga 
this woman went back to Nigeria last year. At their, at their, through their false prophecy, and haven't, haven't taken all her uh, 192-557 pounds from her. Um, uh, she, she went to Nigeria last year, so the British police can uh, investigate this matter. All they have to do is to ask uh, 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 Mr. Temitope Pashakin, uh, ask, uh, 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 call him to call uh, to, to the police station, uh, uh, ask him for his bank uh, uh, accounts, and the, the, the British police can find out all his bank accounts. So he will ha then have to have the onus of proof for how he got all this money into his account last year, or whenever this has been going. He, he will have to justify. And the lady concerned, the British uh, uh, um, police can uh, set up uh, uh, how they will contact her and she can tell the story to them so for the eyes of the lord is upon you uh, christ life church you must do the right thing god's eye is upon you and we are all all christians are going to make sure we continue until you do the right thing because this man was your pastor so you cannot just wash your hands whether you know it or not this woman was vulnerable she, she was gullible, she was naive, whatever it is, she is not at fault. Your, there is no, nothing is wrong to trust a pastor. It is extremely bad what false pastors are doing, and they will not get away with it because anybody who God has called will have the fear of God. And if you have no fear of God, that is when you do such a thing and defraud a woman who is ill. Out, uh, 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 out of out of her money, out of her living, and then gave false prophecy uh, uh, um, to her that she, when she gets to Nigeria, she will keep God's sake. That is God's will for her that she should go back to Nigeria. She shouldn't tell her children when all this was going on. And this is fraud. That is how uh, 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 this this uh, charlatans, this fraudulent individuals. This is how they operate. I propose the church administrators go a step further by reporting this man quickly to the uh, British police. Because the British police, we, this crime was committed there, and this man is still going around. Immediately I got this message from um, uh, 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 WhatsApp. I circulated it, and there are people who, who there's a guy who had worked with this man, uh, um, and he got somebody to try and and uh, get his number because I was going to uh, uh, circulate his number. But this man, people should, this man should not get away with this kind of thing. This man is not a Christian, let alone a pastor. This is just um, an evil, evil individual. Um, and if the case is, if this is not the case, let him and his wife come and. Uh, and put their own case, circulate their own message through WhatsApp. So I'll take this opportunity to speak to you Christians. Please, when you go to church, any church, apart, you see, the word of God tells us that whoever so sparingly in Second Corinthians, Nine, six to eight. It tells us that whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. When the word of God, when and, uh, Paul was talking about this, he was talking about seed. Seed is seed. Seed is not money. Okay. They they were they were farming community in those days. Uh, regarding uh, uh, offering, Jesus washed offering. That is the middle uh, widow smile, and it tells you there there and there. That the, of all the people that gave, it was this woman who gave the littlest, you know, that is more, uh, uh, that has given more. So, offering is about what you can afford. It's got nothing to do with 10%. God does not need our money. Heaven is paved with gold. Heaven is full of mansions. What God needs from us is pure heart. He said only those with pure heart will see God. So if your heart is not pure and you go to church, you are wasting your time. 
any church that is not preaching for uh, um, sin, uh, 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 any church that is not uh, preaching avoidance of sin, any church that is not preaching uh, um, um, uh, surrender to the will of God, any church that is not preaching uh, prayer, any church that is not preaching the kingdom of God, uh, uh, repentance, forgiveness, holiness, because the word of God tells us that our God is perfect. Our God is holy. If Jesus said, why thou call me holy, the, uh, uh, good? The only good is God. And he says, because we are children of God, made in this image, we strive to be perfect like him. So money and Christianity does not go together. When God calls you, whether as an evangelist or a reverend or a, a, a pastor, he equips you. He blesses the work of your hand. You have your own uh, uh, calling. And if you haven't got your calling, whatever uh, 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 the congregation, God gives them to, give, to donate will suffice. The church is not a commercial thing. It should not be a, a, franchi a, a, a franchise. It should, it should not be a, 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 an entrepreneurship. It is the work of God. God blesses the work of your hand. So I, Christians and those of you who are coming into Christianity, don't think you are going to church and any uh, pastor is going to double your money. It's, not, it's a false doctrine. That is a doctrine of mammon. You are coming to church to find God and you can find God by reading your Bible. Jesus is there every day in everybody's heart. At the door of your heart, wanting to be your friend, wanting to teach you. Don't allow yourself to be conned out of your money, out of your health. The only person, when, when the doctors, medical doctors, when you are ill, you go to them, and if they cannot help you with whatever is, the problem is, is beyond them, you cry to Christ. He is the healer, He is the redeemer, He is the miracle uh, worker. No individual, no pastor, no reverend, no uh, um, evangelist can do anything on their own. Christ walks through them. The hope of glory, what is done for one, he can do for you. You can pray yourself into health. Stop going to pastors and churches for healing. They don't have that power. Only Jesus can save. Only Jesus can heal. And the, that is why you have medical doctors. Go and see your doctor for whatever the problem is. And if they have gone to the end, yes, you have. God is still in the business of miracles. But you, yourself, you have the grace. He died for everyone. There is no barrier between you and your God. Jesus has already died for you. He removed that barrier. The veil the, of the holies of holy was broken when he died. You are no longer under any law of Moses. You are not a Jew. If you are coming to be a Christian, all things have passed away. You are a new being in Christ. And if you profess Christ, you do not go back to the old. Any, any church that tells you to pray tight, you do not go to that church. Go to another church. Or your body is the temple of God. Pray. God will speak with you. Be in his presence. If you go to, you can go to church all your life. If you are your your heart is not pure, if you are, if you don't spend time, you uh, prayer is a two way system. You cannot just be praying, 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 and just getting up. You have time when you set aside and just be still in the presence of God, so that you can hear from Him. So that is why I I came to make this uh, video, uh, so so that. We stop hearing all these uh, um, false preachers. We stop hearing about all these ch uh, charlatans. We stop hearing about all these uh, uh, fraudulent pastors and reverends uh, 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 um, stealing from congregation, embezzling from congregation. You see, when 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 in Second Corinthians nine six to eight says, "Remember this." Whosoever sparingly uh, um, uh, 
so who, who sowed sparingly will also reap sparingly i'm paraphrasing and, and whoever sows generously will also reap uh, uh, generous generously each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give not reluctantly or under compulsion for god loves a cheerful giver precisely that Nobody should tell you this is the amount you should give. What you should give is between you and your God for an offering. And if you don't have an offering, fine. An offering doesn't get, take you to heaven. No paying your offering doesn't take you to, uh, to hell either. You can make a donation. You can make a gift. But all those donations and gifts, are not, they are not an exchange for any grace. They are not an exchange. You are not battling with God. The God we have 